In this overview, we'll show you the highlights of the setup and configuration that must be completed by an administrator before reconciliations can be performed. Before you begin setup and configuration, you must decide how to configure the system and collect all data that is required. After all decisions have been made and the required data is collected, you can perform all setup and reconciliation tasks in a limited amount of time. Configure system settings, periods, formats, and users, import profiles, configure data loads, import currency rates, create reconciliations for a period, open the period, run data loads. From home, select Application to access configuration. Attributes are the user-defined fields you are going to use and associate with your transactions and profiles. System attributes is where you'll define the number and type of profile segments used in your account IDs, define the reconciliation processes that are in effect, configure the risk ratings, frequencies, and account types to be used for account classification and reporting. Currencies is where the currency rates, currency buckets, currency, and the rate types used for foreign exchange translation are found. Formats are assigned to define the reconciliation, including properties, such as the reconciliation method, instructions and any associated reference files, attributes, questions to be answered by the selected user when working with the reconciliation, selected rules to apply to the reconciliation, history of changes to the format. The ultimate goal is to provide a robust preventative control structure to ensure that every reconciliation that's created actually qualifies as a proper reconciliation. A library of standard formats are available to use as a starting point. Start with an initial set and you can revise and adapt that set as needed. You can also configure calendars, holiday rules, and organizational units, which are essential for those planning to use holiday-based scheduling. You configure the periods pertaining to reconciliation. You can start with just one or two periods and then add periods as needed. For each period, you'll define start and end dates as well as the dates that books are closed for each period and the frequencies associated with each period. Additional settings are available to determine how the system behaves in a number of different areas and fine tune the reconciliations. You can create user assignments to assign an individual, a backup user, or a team to perform a specific function on a reconciliation. The user configuration involves managing groups, but may also involve defining the teams responsible for performing reconciliation functions. Profiles is used for the collection or group of accounts that are reconciled. Each profile represents a distinct reconciliation and may contain many different low-level accounts rolling into it. Profiles contain preparer and reviewer assignments, format assignments, and other important configurations. You can import or export profiles, including to unformatted data for future import, meaning you can change what you want and then it will already be in the proper import format. Each month, reconciliations are created from the profiles in the format chosen within the profile. Reconciliations carry with them a snapshot of the configuration existing on the profile at the time the reconciliation was created. As time goes on, Profile configurations will change as the business changes. These changes have no impact on existing reconciliations, which must remain intact and representative of the configuration that existed on the date it was created. The best practice is to use EPM Automate to schedule all data loads through data management or directly into the application. Alternatively, you can manually load balances, transactions, and currency rates. Remember, when loading balances and transactions manually, each row must have an account ID assigned. Once your initial data loads are complete for the period, you can create reconciliations for the current period. Subsequent data loads will update the reconciliations. If there is a balance change and the reconciliation is already complete, it will be reopened and updated with the new balance. Once the configuration and data loads are done, the system is ready for preparers to complete their reconciliations. During acceptance testing, the key items to validate include ensuring balance mappings and aggregations for each reconciliation contain the correct account balances, checking that all preparer and reviewer assignments are correct, ensuring each reconciliation contains the correct format. In this overview, we showed you the highlights of setup and configuration that must be completed by an administrator before reconciliations can be performed. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.